Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Um, this video is going to be a start of a kind of a new series I'm going to be doing, and it's going to be doing like game re reviews that, and all that. So, and this is going to be about like games of like new games I played and what I just like to what I like like what I like about it is it like, to me is it good and worth it and all that. So, yeah. So the first game of the series, which I'll be doing, is um, Hogwarts Legacy. Love the game. Let's start off with the control. Uh, let's start with controls. Controls can be a little mm at the start. I think controls are actually all up. The controls are really, really good, um, and all that. So, um, so yeah, also um, the story, the story is really good. I think the story is just absolutely brilliant and awesome. I've actually finished it twice now. Um, I've been on it since, I got it Tuesday because I pre-ordered it. I got a few, few days before others. So I did, <clears throat> and of course you get cl four classes of course. Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Slytherin. And Ravenclaw. So, I did Gryffindor, and I've done Slytherin. I'm on my third class, um, and um, which is Ray Ravenclaw. So that's my third one. I haven't started. I'm having a little bit of a break from it because I've been playing it nonstop since I've got it. Um, so, but the story is good. The story is great. Um, uh, so the story is about um, the student who comes to Hogwarts in his fifth year, or her fifth year, you can choose between he or her, if you want to. Um, so he, they come in their fifth year, and um, and then you get like, this is, and this is like, I think, 1800s? So it's before Harry Potter, it's not really even a Harry Potter game. Even though it's in the same world and all that, you know, it's technically not a Harry Potter game. So, yeah, um, just want to make that clear. Um, so yeah, fifth, this, a student comes as fifth year, starts off at fifth year, or uh, so a late student. Um, this student has a special power which is called ancient magic. Um, it's a special magic that some of these professors or students have. It's a special ability that they can see this magic, and up, but others can't. Um, so, and then, like, there's a threat, um, but of dark wizards. Also, goblins have joined wizards, um, against Hogwarts and and all that. So, um, it's it's really good. It's actually a, also a really big map, the big world, plenty to do. Um, you get the level up, customize your character, you can choose between girl or boy, wizard, witch, um, you get to choose your class, again, Slytherin, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, um, and they have, like, their own unique ways and story of it, and th at the start they've got their own little special quest, it's really cool, um, <clears throat> so... I, again, I've been I've really enjoyed it. I think it's been awesome. I think just pl I've playing it twice. Again, I'm having a bit of a break because I've played it twice nonstop. Um, I'm on my third glass Ravenclaw. Um, but I would actually prefer this game if you are into like this this world and all that. Like, <clears throat> I think it is worth it. I think it's absolutely worth it it's the game's just the story's perfect the, it, the whole world makes you feel like you're, you're at hogwarts and and all that so it just it it in a way as one of my friends put it um furious fox um furious fox has talk, said it a couple of times in when i was playing it is it it feels magical and it really does and i think It'd be, yeah, so, um, but yeah, the story's good, 
The whole casting is actually really good. You get uh, talents, which is upgrades for your thing. Um, which if you it's uh, if you haven't played Elder Scrolls Online, um, you get like a thing where you get one, two, three, four. You get th four parts where you can put four spells in each part. And um, yeah, so it's like technically classes for magic, but um, um, so the story is also is that you go to Hogwarts, the professors of Hogwarts try to get you caught up on spells, everything, just everything, until from first first year to fifth year. So, it yeah, it, it's yeah, just, I I. I'm, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's really magical, like Furious Fox says, and again, yeah, the whole casting, choosing the spells, um, there is, you can get the, um, the curse, the Avada Kedavra, curse, Crucio, and all them, the unforgivable, unforgivable cur curse spells, you can get them, um, so, so there is someone from Slytherin that you do talk to and help out um, during to get those curses and those spells, which is really good. So, but and also like the the whole world is just filled with story, loot, everything. Um, so you get to choose between difficulty, which is also story, which is just I don't really know. <laughs> um, easy normal and hard so i did gryffindor on story which is the easiest one and then i did slytherin a little bit on easy or well, normal actually and then i went to hard and i actually finished it on hard so yeah it's worth it um the characters awesome the, the story of the characters back then are really good you get and that so um, yeah, the, the, the world's beautiful, the graphics are beautiful, everything about it is just, yeah, um, and, um, yeah, so, but again, if you don't like the, this type of stuff, like Harry Potter and that stuff, even though it's not really, it's not actually a Harry Potter game, it's the world of Hogwarts, so really, yeah, <laughs> Um, a lot of people have enjoyed it. Um, I think it'd just be good if, you know, it'd be worth getting. The story's good. The characters are good. The, like, you get to go to the room of requirement. Um, you get the also capture beast. You just, you get, and all that. Um, and, um, yeah. It's, there's just so much, quest, so many quests that you can just do and that, so, um, yeah, so, um, but, I can't think of anything else, um, locations are actually really good, um, probably the big, not a big downer, but a downer for the game would be the whole thing of a void, like Hogsmeade, you can go to. Yeah, so, okay, so oh, before I say anything else, there's three locations. There's a world map, Hogwarts map, and a Hogsmeade map. So you can go to Hogsmeade, everything. <laughs> the big problem with that is that you can go in your broom. Hogsmeade won't let you go in your broom because there's a big barrier around it that you can't fly in, which is a bit of a downer, but, you know. Um, yeah. Um... But you can choose between if you want to be bad, you'd be good in a way if you can. So, um, yeah, I, I give this game such 10 out of 10, more than that if I had to. Just, I think it just is so worth it. And, um, yeah, um, I haven't been doing videos because I, uh, much, because I, um, at all. So, I haven't really streamed much, but I do want to... Get in a little bit of streaming this week, so keep an eye on that too. If you haven't already, follow me on Twitch. Um, I might do some Fortnite videos, or I have got 007 Goldeneye, so I might do that too. But 
other stuff. This is about Hogwarts Legacy. Um, the boss was good. The boss, the battles were good. Um, fight the whole fighting technique was good. The flying technique was good. Just pretty, much, they've done so pretty much. Unfortunately, it's not online. Um, and there's no Quidditch, but it has been confirmed that there is going to be a DLC for Quidditch. So. And I hope they bring multiplayer in, but yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much all my thoughts on the game. I, again, I, I really don't really know what to say about it. Cause I've said, <clears throat> except that it's really... I really don't have a bad thing about it to say. Except the whole, you know, there's invisible void uh, barriers... That you can't get past um, when you're in your broom and that you have to walk sometimes. So, but that you know that that's nothing at the end of the day. You know, every game has its invisible wall type things and that. So, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's everything I had to say for this episode. This is episode one of game reviews. Um, um. Shave. Um, but yeah, story. Everything in the game is good. Um, I and I'll give it if I had to a thousand and a thousand more than that if I had to. But and that, but they've they're gonna do a lot more with this game. It's worth it. It's just yeah, and um, and I hopefully in the future. They, after they've done with this game, they might make a second one. I really would like that. Uh, no Furious Fox would like that too, because, and no doubt about it, it's it's so successful at the moment. Successful. Um, but yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, I think that's everything I had to say about this review. Um, let's stop saying um. Or, <laughs> kind of annoys me. A little bit. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, that's about it. And uh, just please, if if you haven't already, go buy the game. If you're into this, like, the whole world of that and and all that. And, um, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I'm in a I'm having a couple of days rest, <laughs> but um, you you you'll have a lot of fun and you have a lot to do during this. Just playing it and you'll enjoy it. Um, I again like yeah, <laughs> um, probably the best game so far this year. There hasn't been really much, but you know. Um. So yeah. Uh. That's going to be about it. I'm going to let you go. This is about 13 minutes, probably 14 minutes, but I'm going to end the video here. Um, I said it again. <laughs> if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below what other games you want me to review, or I don't even know if it's really reviewing, it's just putting my, my thoughts out there. But it's my review, anyway, personally. So I would give this game a 10 out of 10. 100%, if you guys haven't bought it, I'd recommend you buying it, if I'm not in that, it's worth it, and yeah, um, please comment down below what you guys think, and what other games you want me to review, and yeah, and um, let me know what you want me to put up on this on my channel, and what content, um, do you I could do a drunk at serious like I could I could probably like Fortnite. I could do a drunk Fortnite series, so I could just yeah. But please let me know. Um give this video a like and um yeah. Hope you all enjoy and um have a good rest of your week. Have a good one and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone. Have a good one.